This is the Creative Market free goods run up for week of June 15th, 2015. There are six different free goods this week, but they are free this week only. So if when you're watching this video, you see something you might want to use, just check out the description of this video where I'll place links to each one of these six different free items. So first up is Seabad Grado, which is a font. This is a font and it's provided in both OpenType as well as TrueType font formats. So I have the OpenType font opened up inside Adobe Illustrator here to show it. And this font just includes these uppercase letters. There aren't any numbers or any special characters included. So what you see right here is what you get. And this font has an Art Nouveau style. So I think they did a very nice job of pulling that style off. All these letters have quite a bit of character and they also all work very well together in an actual layout just like this. All these different letters pull some very similar stylistic cues from each other. Like if you look at the W to the X right here and the way the curves are handled on these letters. I think these all work very nicely together for little reasons like that. And I typed up free goods run up right here into a sentence so you can see how it looks. The stock currying looks extremely good. The spacing between these looks a little bit much in my opinion. So you might want to reduce the tracking on these just a little bit if you want to push these a little bit closer together. But overall a very solid font. It's a very basic font though. So if you want to use stuff like numbers or special characters or punctuation marks, you might have to custom make these. So it kind of depends on how much you want to actually go through here and customize this. If you want to show off more than just the included letters here, but it could be pretty fun going here and actually try to convert some of these letter forms into number forms if you want to give yourself a fun project like that. But that's it for this font. If you like what you see right here, just be sure to grab it this week while it's still free. Next up is the Armory Pack. This is a collection of badges and vintage illustrations in Adobe Illustrator as well as EPS file formats, and I have them opened up inside Adobe Illustrator here to show it. So there's three pages in total, this one which has all the different badges on it, and then there's two that have different vector elements on them. There's this page right here as well as the secondary page right here. And as you can tell, these illustration, these vintage illustration pages have a ton of really cool stuff on them. They don't all look completely consistent. Like if you look at these knives up at the top here, this one on the bottom doesn't really look like it came from the same family as the ones above it right here. But nonetheless, everything on these pages is pretty cool and actually very nice to kind of think about using in your different design layouts. And you can also customize these too if you want to take out something like the word explosives right here by ungrouping this and then just deleting out the word explosives if I fully ungroup this. You can of course do that and then you have a very useful starburst pattern right here in vector format that you can kind of use and use your own type customize inside of that and here's the other page so it has some stuff like custom type right here that looks like it came off of a gun or something similar to that as well as some bullets this entire page seems to be very firearms related in general a very cool illustration at the bottom here of a vintage illustration of a trunk so a very cool pack of not only these two different pages of vector elements, but then you have this page right here, which is also fully customizable, a very nicely rendered badges for you to go in here and customize. I have the EPS file opened up here, which outlined all the fonts, but they are free fonts. And if you open up the Illustrator file, you can go ahead and customize all of these fonts to say whatever it is you want it to say. So I think the layouts right here are extremely professionally done, particularly this one right here, I think is one of my favorites of the pack, despite not using some of the cool clip arty stuff on the side here. I just think the overall type layout is very strong, but the ones in the bottom are awesome as well. So if you like something right here that you're seeing, just be sure to pick this pack up this week while it's still free, and hopefully you'll get a whole lot of use out of this one. Next up is OXO Multipurpose PSD Template. This is a collection of six different Photoshop files that are web mockups. So these aren't actually working website files, but they will give you a very good idea of different ways you can lay out your website to look extremely nice and professional. So you will need coding knowledge to actually turn these into a working website. But even if you don't have coding knowledge and you're just looking for some inspiration for layout, color choices or icon choices, then this one might come in pretty handy for you. And I should note that they also do include the grids on these. So if I turn on this folder, you can see the grids that they use to actually create this. So if you are coding this from scratch, this will come in kind of handy as a very good guideline of how they set this up. But I just have two of these different Photoshop files opened up right here. So I'll just show you these two to give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect here. And also if you look at the layers palette right here, all these are very nicely grouped up into folders that are all also color coded. So the main menu right here, if I turn that on and off, you can tell that the menu up at the top here turns on and off with it. If I open that up, it'll tell you stuff like top border, the menu hover, which shows what happens when you hover over something like services, as well as the actual menu elements right here, and then the logo in the center. So you can go in here and kind of get a good idea of different ways to lay out your Photoshop files as well. They seem to be structured extremely well that make it very nice and easy to go in here and find out where everything is. But I'll just go down this page right here so you can get a good idea of what this looks like and kind of how they laid this out. And I should also note that this does mention bootstrap. So I think this was laid out to be on the 12 column grid of a bootstrap theme. So if you are a designer or developer using bootstrap and you want to convert something over to bootstrap, then this might be an especially useful thing for you to kind of pick up here. So overall, a very clean and very well laid out organization of pages here. I think this is a really nicely done website theme overall. 
And like I said before, this is just one of six pages in total for you to get ideas from. So here's the other one that I selected. So you can tell this one does have a pretty different look to it, but still looking like it's a part of the family of this one up here. They just handle some of the elements a little bit differently where, for example, this top navigation bar has a white background, where on this page, this top navigation bar, while the layout is the same, it's over an image just like this. So if you want a large scrolling image at the top, use this one as your reference. And if you want a more standard and structured navigation bar, you can use this one. So I'll quickly scroll down to the bottom here so you can kind of see how this one was laid out. And just like the other one, everything is labeled very nicely in the layers palette here with the footer on its own layer, the bottom bar on its own layer. So you can go in here and very quickly find out where everything is in the actual Photoshop document with these color-coded folders on the side here, which will hopefully be extremely useful when you're trying to find stuff. But a very nice and professional looking pack. If you're looking to become a more front-end designer and you want to see how stuff is laid out in Photoshop before it's turned over to a developer to turn it into a working HTML site, this might come in handy for you. Or even if you're just looking for layout ideas and you can do the development yourself, then this also might be really nice for you to get some ideas from. But that's it for this pack. And do remember, I just showed two of six pages in total, so check those all out when you download it. Just be sure to grab it this week while it's still free. Next up is Monogram Pack. This is a collection of monogram designs for Photoshop as well as Illustrator. And they also include EPS files as well if you're not using Adobe Illustrator. And I have the Photoshop file opened up here to show them because it didn't require me to install the fonts. Although all the fonts are listed in this particular download and they all are free. So when you actually wanna go in here and customize these, just be sure to download all the fonts first. And one thing to note with this, as you can tell, all these designs are actually really awesome and very well done, but the monograms in the centers of many of these aren't customizable because all these were totally custom made. So you can't just type in new words or letters here and have it automatically create these. So kind of keep that in mind when you're doing this, that the actual monograms aren't customizable, but all the type next to them, like where this one says Logan Zakaria, you could customize this type and change it to be whatever it is you want it to be. So this will be particularly helpful if you have initials or your business has initials that are already included here. So like A or HR, all these would be the most helpful for you to have if you are customizing these. But of course, you could also just make your own monograms and place them in the center of these if you wanna do that. And that way you could really make a customized thing that should work quite perfectly for you. And at least in the Photoshop file right here, each one of these different elements is in its own little folder here inside the badges folder. So this one's monogram 10, which if I turn on and off, it's this one for Felicity. Hamilton and each of these different items is on its own layer. I do kind of wish that they name the layers instead of naming them group and path plus path but that's kind of a minor detail here and as you can tell right here where it says Hamilton this font is live so if I want to change this to be something different I can do that quite easily and it's also very nice that they made the font be centered justified because it's a little bit easier to change it you don't have to worry about recentering it or anything like that. So this is just the monogram portion of this design and they also included some high resolution leaf textures so if I open up this leaf textures folder you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. There are nine in total, and these are actually all quite cool. I'm not totally sure how they created these. Perhaps they scanned in a leaf and really did some work on the levels or curves, or even they might have painted over the leaf and then pressed it on a piece of paper to get this end result. So whatever the case may be, these all look pretty cool, and I think they should look pretty nice in combination with the actual monogram designs that are included, as these all have a very kind of vintagey or weathered look that I think go pretty well with many of these different monogram vintage inspired designs right here. So a very cool pack that I would recommend picking up this week. I think the overall design of these is super well done. These look extremely professional in my opinion. Definitely better than most badge packs that I've seen in the past. So if this looks cool to you, just be sure to pick it up this week while it's still free. Next up is 280 premium blurred backgrounds. This is a collection of 280 blurred backgrounds in JPEG format. And since 280 is just a ton, I selected five at random here to show. And just quickly, if I go to image and then image size, these are 3000 by 2000 pixels. So they should be plenty big for most print or web application. So as you can see, as I scroll through these different options here, they are extremely blurred and have some pretty cool gradations of color going on. I'd assume these are all actual photos that have been seriously blurred out using Gaussian blur or some other similar method in order to create this end result. And things like this are useful, particularly on the web. If you want to add some type over a pretty non-offensive element, something just to add a little bit of spice and character to your website with not being anything too recognizable or too distinct, this can be kind of helpful for that if you want to make these into your header images and have nice big white type or whatever the case may be going over them. Or you could even overlay stuff like illustrations or simple silhouetted designs or type work on top of these. And Kind of give your work just that little bit more depth that a very gradated and colorful background can give. So like I said before, there are 280 of these in total, and these are just the first five that I kind of selected at random here. It gives a pretty good idea of what to expect in this pack. Just expect a whole bunch more different colors and different gradation patterns as you go through all the 280 different options. But if you think this will be useful for you, just be sure to pick it up this week. And last up is 28 historical graphics. 
This is a collection of 28 historical etchings in vector format in either Illustrator format or EPS format. So I have the Illustrator files opened up here. And the EPS formats have each one of these separate items on their own page. So if you prefer to work like that, you can. But having all these on one page, well, actually, three different pages is just a bit easier for me to show. So I'm going to do it this way. And also off to the side here, there's some fonts you have to download if you want to use these pre-made font layouts that are included on these vintage etchings. Otherwise, you could also just swap these out to be whatever particular font you want to use. But I'll just zoom in a little bit closer on some of these so you can get a better idea of how all these different elements look up close. I'd have to assume that these were probably scanned in from a very old book or a collection of old images and then brought into a program like Illustrator and then perhaps either live traced or some other similar method that automatically converted these into vector form. And there are three pages in total if you use the collections just like this, which is kind of a handy way to sort through everything that's included here. And there is a pretty nice and diverse selection of stuff as well. So here are some different illustrations of people and the roles they played like Knight, Advisor, Templar with Game of Thrones and stuff like that. You might find this actually kind of useful if you're creating content for something that has that kind of a feel. And here is the final collection, which is just a set of borders that have actually very nice illustrations to them. And I think that if you're looking for a very cool way to separate your work that has a very vintage look to it, then these might come in pretty handy. I'm not sure of the exact years that these would have been pulled from, but they look like maybe 16 to 1700s, maybe even 1800s, but certainly all these were probably done quite some time ago, so they have a very authentic vintage look when you're applying them to your own work. So there's three pages in total if you want to use these pre-made groups, like I said before, or you can use the EPS files and have each one of these different elements on their own page if you want to work that way instead. And this one in particular has all these different elements for editing custom type that's already been arranged to look pretty good. Like I said before, I didn't download the proper fonts, but they are here on the side, so you might want to do that before I go in here and use them. But if you think you'll find these vintage etchings useful, just be sure to grab them this week while they're still free. So that's it for this week's free goods, and do remember they are free this week only, so be sure to check out the description of this video if you want to pick anything up. And as always, if you like this video, please like and favorite, and if you want to see this video every week, please subscribe. This video is released every Monday till you know it's free this week on Creative Market. Thank you for watching.